Hey guys, Bruny General here, back with another video, and I know two videos in a day. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> anyway, we're staying in 1940 today. Uh, because, I mean, that ain't just one car model gonna be made in the year. Nah. Uh, now this one's also gonna be a four door, but it's gonna be like a smaller four door. And I think I'm gonna call it the. Uh. Hmm. I'm not sure what to call it. Uh Oh yeah. No, no, no. Uh, I'm just going to call it the sports since like all the cars will be renamed in the future anyway all production models so this one's a smaller looking little car I kind of like that little Kinda like the look of that. Yeah, yeah. Looks cute. Alright, so galvanized steel. Rear longitudinal this time because this is gonna be a rear a rear engine car. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what that was. Uh this is gonna be kind of like a kinda like essentially kinda like a bug, a VW bug in a sense, uh, but not really. You know, it's going to be different from a VW Bug in the sense it's going to be like a four-door car and it was built, you know, before the Bug came out by like, mm, like nine years. So, do 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 uh, There we go. <laughs> oh, it looks cute. Aw, oh, I look so cute. <laughs> this car looks cute. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind having this thing. Maybe. <laughs> Can't exactly say it's a perfect car, but... I think if you're more like one of those guys who likes a little tiny car like this, it would be the car for you, you know? It's not bad. Bug lovers will love it. Which thing is, I love VW bugs. They're they're so cool. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Indicators. And not many places to pick from, are there? I think that looks nice. And then backup lights, or reverser lights, can go like that. And I know, they're really small, because if you think about it, this car is really small, and if the tail lights look that, like if all the lights look that small on the car, which is extremely small already, and you gotta think, yeah, it's, it's a fairly small thing, but whatever, you get the point. Oh, license plate. Yeah. God, when the license plate is that big on the car, you know it's a small car. <laughs> I love it, though. I, I really do. Uh, so, I think I forgot the front badge on the i4 when I made it. I might have even forgotten the badges. I can't remember. Mm. Oopsie if I did. All right, it looks cool, yeah. Mm. And this is going to be the sport <laughs> sports class car. Well, actually, this shouldn't be called the sports. This should be called like the uh, micro. <laughs> and uh, sure, this is a sports car. 
Don't judge me. Yeah, I'd buy this in a heartbeat. Ah, oh, you can't have a very big engine in it, though, because it's, well, it's rear-wheel drive. Or, well, it's got a rear engine. I'll make it as big as I really can, though, without... Without it screwing up and being, like, too big for the car to handle. Uh, I can't imagine what, like, a V8 would be like, trying to fit a V8 into this thing. <laughs> or an, oh, an I-6 would be horrible to try and fit into a car like this. Because it's so elongated. So, engine family three. It's going to be in the iron I-4 district as well. I think it looks cool. I, I mean, it's not going to be very powerful, but when you think about it, this car is really small, so it doesn't really need to be. So, engine variant, uh, the Micro I-4, and this really is a Micro I-4. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm oh so very sorry. I think I'm going to put the cast ones on this one, just because I kind of want this thing. Well, actually, nah, heavy cast will... Do me better in the long run. This thing is only 43 cubic inches. That is absolutely micro. I, I think a bug has bigger freaking engine than this. Actually, yet. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Uh, and I, I don't think they're, like, done with, like, the whole modeling for, um, rear engine cars like this yet. So if, like, this, the engine sticks out of the back of the car a little bit or something, then, uh, sorry, it's just, like, this feature just got added into the game. So don't blame the developers or anything. Because, again, this is, an, this is a beta-tested version, so it's not really supposed to be completely fully fleshed out, obviously. Uh, so let's just screw mufflers. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't run. This car does not run very well at all. In fact, this car doesn't run. <laughs> Let's turn that compression. Well, not yeah, the compression. Turn that down. Mm -hmm. I feel like this thing is going to actually be fairly slow. But you know what? You know what? That's okay. That's okay. I don't mean for this car to be fast in the first place, you know? I mean, I mean for this to be just like one of those type of cars where it's like, Ooh, I got one of these. It's so cool. Yay. I can barely fit in this thing. Oh, my God. Why did I buy this car? Uh, oh, my God. That is freaking hilarious how little power this thing pulls that's funny 40 horsepower so this is definitely probably not gonna be like best seller of the year type deal huh mm-mm mm-mm no <laughs> probably just make it even less powerful right yeah. Mm. Now, um, what the? Oh. Uh. All right. So, all right. So I could make the diameter of the exhaust pretty dang small, just because it's not going to produce many emissions in the first place. Oh my God, that's tiny. Let's see. Oh, it sounds great. Sounds like a big fair. Is it going to need for cooling? Require cooling. <laughs> ah! Does not need much. Does not need much. Ah, oh, it's cute. I like it. Oh, and uh, there's this thing where... Uh, we're going to find where the popping point of this engine is. Oh, God. That might be it right there. 
Maybe not. Usually it's around uh, one, like 1500 RPM. This, like most engines will start popping if you don't have mufflers on them. Here, let me show you. Have yours, it might be loud. Ha, oh, that startles me almost every time. So there you go. Good car. Good, good car. How oh, good, the engine's not popping out of the back of the car. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> that is cute. I like that. It's so small. Uh, yay. 83 miles an hour. That is not bad for the time being. For this time period, actually. That ain't half bad. That's fairly nice, actually. Yeah. Alright, so... Do I want 4-speed? No, no. I'll, I'll keep it at a 3-speed. I get the duck, jeez. Okay, so hard long life for a tire. No, no, I'm just gonna offset it very little actually, just because these this thing doesn't need big old tires. This thing's tires are really skinny. <laughs> whole car is cute. I, I think, I think, uh, I think I did a good job on this car. At making it just so cute and a, and lovable that it's kind of like a bug. It's very slow, but you don't really notice that over how cool it looks, how over how how funny it is. Yeah, I get a lot of cooling to the brakes. Just just to help it out. Uh, five seats, handmade. Let's turn the quality all the way up, because this is going to be like a luxury version of the bug that's got four doors and made in. 1940. So basically, not a bug at all. No! Tires blew out! No! Uh. That help. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Right, so it's definitely not a sporty car, still. I think the wheels are too big. I'm gonna make those smaller. Like. Can I get away with 13s, or will the tires blow out with that? Nope, tires blow. Actually, 14s with mm, 95s, 95s. Wait, the wheel, wait, wheel diameter. Ew. This thing's gonna have fairly small tires and tires and wheels. Alright, so I need at least 13s. Uh, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause the recording. And we're back! I just had to show my grandma this wonderful car. Because she is a fan of the VW Beetle to the core. I mean, she owns one. This thing cost a lot of money, jeez. Mm -mm. Mm. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't afford one. <laughs> oh my god. It's cute though, so. Well, I mean, if I'm the maker of the car, doesn't that mean I get one for free? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna upload like four or five videos today just because I'm really feeling good today. And so, I'll see you guys later.